Welcome to the video on how to calculate customer equity. Uh, I'm going to walk through the, using this template and also explain what we're doing and how we would calculate customer equity. Um, you may know that customer equity is the total value of customer lifetime values of all our customers, both currently and also going forward. So hopefully this uh, video will make a lot of sense. So basically, we just start off by putting in some customers here. So let's assume we have 10,000 customers and our retention rate per year is 75%. So we're losing, obviously, a quarter of them each year. Um, let's say we make $1,000 profit. So this is our not revenue, this is our net profit per customer on average. Okay, so we're looking to average these. If we've got significant differences in our customer database, we can do this on a per segment basis. Okay, these numbers over here will keep calculating as I put in numbers, but they won't make sense until I completely fill out the yellow area. As it says there, you've got to fill out the whole thing. Okay, so because I'm interested in a couple of things, I'm thinking, do I pick up new customers anyway uh, because of word of mouth. So if I stop this marketing the business, um, I'm probably going to get customer referrals either face to face or through social media or something like that. So I need to put in a num an estimate in there. All of these things are estimates. So I'm going to put in 500 customers come to me anyway because of those factors. And then I look at, okay, I'm obviously marketing the business. I'm picking up uh, new customers on a regular basis. How many would that be? So it's going to be based on my current activities. So let's put down um, 3,000 per year. Okay, and I, I need to spend to get those uh, customers. Maybe I'm spending half, half a million dollars per year. Okay, so... Let's just have a look at the numbers here. I've got 10,000 customers initially. I'm going to lose or retain 20, 75% of them. I'm making $1,000 each. Okay, I'm 500 are walking in anyway. Two and a half thousand are generated from my marketing activities plus the extra 500. So that's typically the new customers I expect each year. And that's what it's costing me. Okay, I'm going to put a discount rate in of 10%. Okay, this is our expected return rate, our hurdle rate, etc. Uh, I have other videos to talk about discount rate if you're unsure what they are. Now, keep in mind, this does not calculate customer lifetime value individually. What it's doing is it's looking for the overall aggregate of customer lifetime values across all our customers. Now over here I have three uh, outcomes. Okay, so I'll start with the easiest one here. This $25 million in this case tells me that my customer equity for existing customers, so we stopped today, we never took on another single new customer. So just based on these 10,000 customers, we will our equity, our value of the business is worth $25 million. And I'll, I'll explain the, the calculations in a moment. The second one here, going the opposite way, is I've got 10,000. I'm going to lose, obviously, a quarter of them every, every year. But I'm picking up 500 through referral. So if I build in those future customers that are going to come to me anyway, uh, whether I'm marketing or not, I actually end up with uh, a customer base that stays a little bit larger. And that's my customer equity, all the customer values going forward. And then finally, if I keep spending this money, and I factor that into the, the equation, uh, the current and future customer lifetime values of all my customer base is, is $109 million. Okay, so the template, you just put those, those numbers in, and once they are all in, uh, these calculate by themselves. So obviously these are estimates. 
Uh, you can play around with some scenarios or do it on a per segment basis. Okay, so I've done it, as it says, over 50 years. I've forecast 50 years in advance, but of course we've got a discount rate, so anything really out beyond 10 years is, is minimum minimal in the overall equation. So let's see what we're doing. So I'm going to look at this number here, 109 million, just to explain what's happening. So what happens in the calculations, and they're all available in, this, in the uh, full spreadsheet for you, is basically, okay, we've got 10,000 customers. I'm picking up 3,000 every year. I'm losing a quarter of those, okay? So at the end of that year, um, I'm 500 customers more. So what the formula is doing is on average in that year, we had halfway between that and that number, so we had basically uh, 10,250 average customers are making $1,000 per year that we have up here. Okay, and it's just saying, okay, we're making $10 million profit, but hang on, we had to spend $500,000 uh, on, on customer marketing. Uh, we take that off, we get to that number, and then we've got our discount rate, which compounds at the 10% rate or whatever rate we put in. So basically, as we go through year two, year three, year four, um, you can see that the customer base becomes the new customer base, and we just simply repeat. What is changing is we've got this discount rate compounding. Now, if I go across to maybe year 20, for example, we get to the point where this is our customer base, but customers in are equal to customers out. So there becomes a point where we just basically are replacing lost customers. But by then, our 20 years out, our discount rate is is uh, 6.73. So even though we're making $11.5 million, in today's money, it's, it's less worth less than uh, $2 million. So all this number is, is the sum of all of these discounted net profit contributions. So basically discounting the uh, the customer lifetime values back to a single number. And the same thing is repeated underneath for without marketing. Obviously we're picking up far less customers. It's just the word of mouth. So instead of the 3,000, we only pick up the, the 500. But of course we've got no marketing costs. Okay, but the formula is exactly the same. This number is a lot lower because we were picking up 3,000 new customers, now we're only picking up 500. And then finally, uh, existing customers, this just looks at the 10,000, and it runs off in this example at 25% a year. So within, if we come over here, by t year 10, we've only got 750 of those customers left. Okay, and again, there's, there's, no, there's no marketing costs. So if I just go back up, basically that's how it works. So each time, you know, if we wanted to look at a, a lower discount rate, all of those numbers automatically change. Um, if we think in the future we may be able to get more profitability on a per customer basis, again, we can we can play around with these to think about, uh, gee, you know, do I look to, I'll go back to where we were, do I look to increase profit per customer that's going to in this case i'll look at that one there uh, give me a total customer equity of 30 million dollars versus do i invest in loyalty okay and surprisingly i get roughly the same number there okay so but let's have a look at some different numbers let's put that back again so again we've got this scenario type thing happening so i went to that but i had to invest uh, more in marketing so you know that's the the advantage of this tool we can just play around with uh, different decisions of you know, working on on a loyalty working on profit per, per customer working on more efficiencies of of uh, our marketing activities perhaps working on on word-of-mouth activities and then saying okay what impact does that have on customer equity? Now, if, if you've been looking at the customer equity uh, area and information, uh, you would have noticed that a, a number of people 
um, believe that maximizing customer equity is the goal of marketing because it takes into account both current and future profitability from our entire customer base. So depending on, on your viewpoint, uh, if you're selling a business or you've got um, looking at some more like a brand value, you can have a look at which ones you will use. Okay, but they're all there for you. So um, please use the link below to uh, have a look more information on customer lifetime values and customer equity.